Hey everybody, how we doing today? It's your old hillbilly friend, Leo. Got something special for you guys today. Something a little unusual. Y'all know how we, we normally do our historic videos or mysteries or some sort of adventure. A um, little bit of a little bit of everything. If you follow our page, you know where we tend to be all over the page just a little bit. But uh, we, we got a very interesting, we got one, some, some information you guys can use today. Uh, I am out on the Buffalo Mountain, at the Buffalo Mountain Trailhead, just outside of Del Barton, West Virginia, in Mingo County. Uh, Del Barton is just over this hill right down there. Uh, this is Trail 13 over here, and Trail 15 goes up into the mountains right there. Now, a lot of people, uh, they come down here, you know, you guys come down here for four trail riding historic sites. Trail riding, like I said. Uh, <laughs> trail riding, historic sites, just to, to see the mountain, you know, West Virginia beauty, that sort of thing. So we thought we would actually do something useful for you guys today. So, um... We thought we started this little series back in the winter and we got a, got sidetracked doing other things, you know, other videos and mysteries. You know how it is, the juicy stuff. And <laughs> we kind of got away from it, but we wanted to come back to this and revisit this and show you guys some stuff. We want to, um, for when you guys come down or, you know, if you're just curious, you can watch the video for whatever reason you want. We don't judge. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> We wanted to show you uh, some of the really cool places here. There are some amazing, amazing places here ran by some really amazing people. And, you know, just very surprising diamonds in the rough. We'll put it that way. Um, all of the places that we're going to show you, um, like we did Sport Outfitters, we've got another one today for you called Local Goat. Now, this place is really insanely cool. And the reason I stop here to, to do this little intro is because you have a massive outlaw area for you trail riders right over here. And the place that I'm gonna show you is just right at the bottom of the hill here. Now, all of the places that we're gonna show you will be the best of the best of the best. Cream of the crop kind of things, that sort of stuff. They will all be really good places. I'm, I'm a trail guide, you know, I pick trail riders and you know uh you know tourists to come here to see the sites and stuff i pick them up all the time you know and we we recommend places to stay all the time so we thought we would show you some of them it's less than a quarter mile from the buffalo mountain trailhead you can come right straight up from their place and hit the trails here or the hatfield mccoy sites or or see you know just un unbridled west virginia beauty that's <laughs> see why it's called local goat and the cabins are up on the hill there's a couple down here but check this out hi guys how we doing today oh are we nervous are we nervous oh god don't look at him he can't get us if we don't look at him <laughs> Hi, hey, come here. You look like puppy dogs. Come here, puppy, come here, puppy. <laughs> They've got a, a fainting goat. Uh, they were just telling me that they have a fainting goat. Just got it, but it's a black and white one. And said that if you, if uh, it gets startled in any way, it'll just lock up and fall over. But check it out. That's running around outside your cabin. This is right down the hill from where you stay and uh, they're they're fenced in you know except for down here but check this out now they've got now these cabins they and i'll show you i've got one uh open they're gonna show them to you in a minute and this place is really nice look at this they got their own little ice cream shop and got the little you know little patio and little cute places to hang out and stuff like that <laughs> and right here in front down here where it's convenient 
for trail riders. They have a handy little car wash to clean your machine up. Most of the uh, car washes, the local car washes, they won't allow uh, ATVs or side-by-sides because of the mud that stops up the drains and they have to shovel them out. But they have, uh, they have theirs set up, you know, to, to catch the mud. They do it, do it differently to catch the mud and just shovel it up. You have to have off-road car washes for off-road vehicles. Check this out. This is just right across the street. Look how pretty. Just West Virginia mountains all around you. Deep creeks, deep streams. Uh, this here, I fished this creek here when I was a little kid. We used to catch crawdads and junk in here. It gets on down a few miles. Uh, a little place called Elk Creek. Hey, Elk Creek, how y'all doing? Uh, <laughs> we used to uh, catch a lot of, you know, little creek bass and stuff like that down there when we were kids. But they've got, these two here are rented, so I won't, you know, like dwell on them or anything. How y'all doing? Yeah. How y'all doing? Good. Are you doing some Yes. Are you? Yes. Do you remember us? What's that? Us? Have we been on a tour? Yeah. You took us last year. Oh, okay. <laughs> Joyce uh -huh. from New York. I remember now. Yeah. I remember your face now. Yeah. I do remember your face. Yeah. You guys having fun? Well, we just got here. Well, good. Yeah. Good. Got here last night. Are, are we having any fun yet? Yeah, so far. Have you been out yet? No, not yet. You no. getting ready to? Yeah, we're, we're waiting for another couple and uh, them to come in and then we're going to head out. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. So, what are you up to? Uh, well, we're doing a, a YouTube video. Okay. Uh, How's yeah. it going? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought that was good. Uh -huh. How are you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Good, good to doing see good. you. We're still kicking anyway. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we was doing a, a, a video. We have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, start, oh, do you? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, yeah. cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I follow everything you do. <laughs> but uh, we was just doing uh, a little video on the, on the cabins and, you know, all this kind of stuff. And. Uh, we're doing a we was doing a, a series for uh, trail riders and stuff, yeah. and you know people coming down yeah. on you know the best places to stay okay. and you know the best amenities and reasonably priced and, and you know good people and you know all the above. Yeah. And uh, I see y'all found them. Yeah. So, yeah we stayed here <laughs> yeah. Third, third time. Third time. Yeah. I heard that. I heard yeah. that. Yeah, and they got that new pavilion up there. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I was, I was a gas good. station, a restaurant nearby. People like that. Go. Oh, there's a gas station nearby. That's yes. all good information. Absolutely. People Absolutely. worry about that. They're unfamiliar. It seems big to them. They don't yeah. realize yeah. that it's, well, it, really it's, it's a really big area. It is. You know, and you're some riding place. the tops of the mountains to get to everywhere. You're going back and forth. And exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We get it, but new people do not get it. Yes. <laughs> and local goat is very accommodating. Yeah, they very are. They're, they're good people. They, yeah. they are good now, people. Have you checked out the new trails up by Pikeville? Up the new... Uh, uh, he's new. you got to pay yeah. for them. Yeah. Anything yeah. good that we're checking out or is too new? Um, from what I hear, there's a lot of pretty good stuff, but it's more toward the Dorton area. They mm -hmm. haven't really connected to this end yet. Mm -hmm. so give uh, it some time. Right. They say they say that they're planning to, but you know how it is. Give it a year or two. Yeah, yeah. Give it a little bit of time and then buy the permits because yeah, there's like yeah. 300 miles right now. Yeah. Well, as as it is right now, you can cross. You can leave from right here and cross Kentucky mm -hmm. and go all the way to Virginia. Yeah. You know, outlaws, of course. Yeah. You know, outlaw trails. But you can go all the way to Virginia from right here. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we were here, not not here, but we were stayed at what, Devil's Back Home yeah. for a little bit. Yeah. They're pricey there, but we stayed there and uh, we did like this, we explored a little more of the Kentucky mm -hmm. Outlaws. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones yeah. I showed yeah. you that yeah. was over there. We probably spent a half a day up there. <laughs> a couple of beers. It was fun. Guys, I guess I'm going to head on up the hill. Uh, it's they're good to they're see up there waiting on me. I'm going to oh, show okay. them up, show off a. Uh, a cabin and okay. all this kind of good stuff. Now are you doing the, are you doing, are you going to be a reenactor for the Maitland Massacre on Saturday? I will be there. I will be there. I will be there. We're having, uh, the town of Maitland is having a reenactment of the Maitland Massacre uh, this weekend, by the way. I didn't mention that. And we will all be there. We will all yeah. 
Monday. <laughs> we will all be there. So we'll, we'll bring you that video next week sometime. But, <laughs> well, guys, it, it's good to see y'all again. Good to see, good to see you all again. <laughs> well, guys, y'all have fun. Have a great yeah, time out too. there. Have you a great too. time. I'm sure we'll see you around. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Machine looks too clean. Yeah, my age. She's getting ready to knock. <laughs> I got the Advil ready. We're good. There you go. There you go. She looks good, man. She looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of good machine. Cool toys, guys. Yeah. Come on down. You get to see the cool toys. <laughs> Another one there. And they have one over there. The rest are up the little hill here. You see what I mean, though? About it being the best of the best. And that's, that's the ones that we're going to put in this little playlist for you guys. That one's called the Lazy Goat. And that was Creek View and I think what, Stream, Streamside, Creekside? Something like, something like that. And here is, let me get their sign and their phone number. How you doing? Pretty good, can't complain today. Local Goat Resort, Del Barton, West Virginia. And right there's their phone number, guys. If y'all want a, a really cool place to stay, there you go. All right, now let's head up the hill. Uh, the rest of the campground, well, not campground, the cabins. And uh, they have a big, you know, little pavilion where you can sit out with little porch swings and stuff and a, a gift shop and all that kind of thing. How y'all doing? Funny parking. Almost heaven cabin. Look at this. Out of breath. Everything here is up a hill. It's West Virginia. The way it is. You learn to live with it. <laughs> now, look how big this thing is. This is about from here, from here to the top. That's uh this thing's about eight, nine feet tall. Something like that. Ah, uh, 15 feet wide, great big boulder. And that's the owner's son right over there. They've always got someone here in case you need something. And they take good care of you too. You know, this this is a good neighborhood. You know, there's not, you know what I mean. In which there's very little crime here. It's West Virginia where squirrels are armed. So everybody knows, you know what I mean. There's no crime here. But we do have an occasional pill head or two. <laughs> well, it's true, you know, they're everywhere. But anyway, they, they keep an eye on the place. And like I said, they, they take care of you. They take good care of you when you're here. This one's called Almost Heaven, Redwood Retreat. Mountain Made. There's the pavilion, there's the gift shop, outfitter store. I'll take you over and show you that just in a second. Look at that, they got the gas fire pits and you get free firewood here too as well you know it's in a way it's a good thing that we don't have big hotel chains here because you have stuff like this if you had a whole bunch of great big hotel chains here they'd be fighting and something like this wouldn't be able to exist you'd have a whole bunch of you know $50 $59 a night rooms 
with basic amenities and you know right on top of each other but that's the owner's house and that's the little ice cream shop and there's the little goats you can see the goats hanging out they come up here too they can it's fenced you know it's fenced well but they come up here and they'll hang out with your kids the little goats will and stuff i've seen you know kids playing and petting petting on the goats and things but yeah, barbecue grill and check this out wait till you see the inside of this place hot tub <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet look at this ready boom did i lie <laughs> look at this is this not spectacular now the owner and his sons did most of this the frame uh was you know contracted to build the frame for the house and then the owner and his sons did all of this look at this there's bedrooms up there look at this look at the view off your porch kitchen kind of take my time let you guys see a little bit you know they come with they keep they stock you know basic amenities all that sort of thing silverware cookware coffee pot toaster all kinds of cool stuff that a hotel will not give you welcome to our cabin <laughs> now look at this bed look at that is that not amazing now this is handmade check that headboard out and the walls and the light fixtures i mean how cool is this place <laughs> individual heat and air in each room too i just noticed that bathroom wow wow that's just about one of the prettiest bathrooms i've ever seen <laughs> they did an amazing job on this look at this guys Wow, we ain't kidding, are we? Hey, everybody, how y'all doing? <laughs> Big shower. That thing's four feet deep back in there. That's a big one. pillows and stuff this is amazing i mean I, I had kind of seen them a little bit but i hadn't really came in and you know looked around much i kind of glanced at them these are really nice aren't they big tall ceilings i like that you can't get this you know, <laughs> you can't get this at no hotel. <laughs> but like I was saying earlier, you know, it's this place because of the the historic sites, the Hatfield McCoy trails, the the whole West Virginia beauty thing. And so, like I said, we thought we would do some of these videos and show you guys some of this stuff, some of these great deals. Look at this! Wow. Upstairs bedrooms. 
You got four beds in this place. Nice. Little attic room. Very nice. But how cool is that? Got convenient access. I have a horse down there too. I didn't know they had horses. But you've got highway right over there so you've got convenient access got a gas station right down here a little convenience store if you need anything uh, it's a it's a very convenient spot it is out in the middle of nowhere but they still got they've got pretty much everything you could want already set up all right we're gonna go over and take a look at their little gift shop let me close up here oh, let me turn the lights off then close up Hillside Hangout. Check that out. And you see a lot of nice toys around here. I've gotten to the point, if it's stock, I can tell. I can tell one machine from another. I can tell a Kawasaki from a Honda, from a Polaris, from a, you name it. <laughs> Doing tours over all these years, I've seen just about every just about every kind of machine you can imagine. Little pavilion to hang out, little gazebo. They did really well up here, didn't they? They just dug this out on the hillside and they just started this a few years ago. I remember when they started this. I actually remember when they started building. They've been very busy. a little gas burner these are awesome i love these things we got one i love those no ashes okay i'm curious oh okay it's a different one that is cool one look at that that is really nice mine ain't that nice <laughs> Mine's like that one. It ain't that nice. <laughs> Take my sunglasses off. I can't see. That's how you do it. Have you a little place? Have you a nice little merchandise? You know, useful things. And some just why not things <laughs> uh, helmets coolers a lot of t-shirts and stuff what we got there hmm canned stuff See a lot of little places like this have stuff like that you know little country stores you know how back in the day little country stores just had little stuff on shelves like this and you see that a lot around here i like that you know it doesn't look it doesn't look modern it looks like an old grocery store from 100 years ago you know just looks really cool uh stuff to clean your machine big cooler <laughs> check this out local goat <laughs> how cool is that Local Goat ATV Resort. 2020's when they opened.
<laughs> Let's see, I got that one, I got that one, I got that one. Uh, <laughs> hoodies and stuff, colder weather. Which that's not really a, not too much of a problem today. But yeah, they got a little bit of, a little bit of everything. Looks cool too, doesn't it? Old barrels. Good looking place. Very pretty. Very pretty. Just back in the mountains. All the trees. Beautiful cabins. Really nice place. Anyway guys, like I said, I just thought I'd bring y'all over here and show you this place there's a whole bunch of these that are you know really nice ones that are really great deals around here there's a lot of them that are well okay uh we'll just leave it at that uh, <laughs> uh, there's like i said there's some really really extravagant ones too that are you know six eight hundred bucks a night but we, we're not going to really be getting into any of those either we want to show you you know, really nice stuff, really great deals that, you know, people like us would actually want. You can't beat a place like this. You can't beat local go. The name, the name is, the name's apt, you know, greatest. It's, it's one of them. It sure is. This is a great little place. Anyway, guys, like I said, thank y'all for coming along and hope y'all like the place. Those of you who may be, you know, looking for a place to to come down here and either ride the trails see the historic sites or just see the see our natural beauty here's you a really good place to stay